Hello everyone, Aaron Dwyer here. This month I want to run through something that I found very important. Uh, it's all about, are you being hacked and is somebody accessing your site that you don't want them to? And if they are, what do you do about it? Well, I happen to use cPanel on all of my servers, and the beauty part about that is, is that it has a lot of tools involved uh, built into the system already to allow you to combat this problem. Let me first explain what the problem is. So, I just happen to have received a notification on one of my accounts to say that I'm nearing my bandwidth limit. And I thought to myself, well, how is that possible when I don't really have a great deal of traffic to this particular site. So the idea is is that you keep in contact with your site statistics and keep an eye on what's going on with your account. Now most people would look at this and say, oh wow, that is fantastic, look at that growth. However, in the case of this account, this is just a support uh, system that I use uh, to keep track of um, issues with uh, my hosting company and I'm fairly confident that it has a fairly uh, routine uh, level of traffic. However, when I see giant spikes happening here, uh, some people who make sales off their websites would be jumping for joy at that sort of figure, but for this particular site, this starts ringing alarm bells for me. Now I can see that uh, it's starting to go gangbusters here and I'm running out of my bandwidth on this particular account. So I'm thinking to myself, wow, look at these unique visitors. They're just jumping up like crazy. Um, and that's what these statistics uh, can do for you. They can show you the, um, where the trouble spots are. So I'm going to just scroll down through my statistics, and I just happen to be using AW Stats here. That's built into the system. And I can see here which countries are the offending countries that are causing this grief. So it's the US and Argentina. There, there is an awful lot of traffic coming from those two countries uh, where, quite frankly, uh, for this particular business, it's an Australian business and, and there just shouldn't be that amount of traffic coming from those locations. So it's fairly easy for me to work out what's going on. I can also see via the IP addresses here who are the main offenders. So I can see these IP addresses are simply records of the um, machines that are accessing my website. Each IP address is a unique uh, machine. So I can see here that um, there's some awful lot of traffic going on uh, for this one particular individual. So that's enough for statistics. Let me show you in your cPanel how you can identify using the latest visitors what's going on. So I'm going to have a look and I'm going to see who my latest visitors are and what they're doing. So my latest visitors, here's this person here, 76211290, and I can see what they're doing. Uh, nothing fantastic there. And then I can see here, here's another different person, and I can see what they're doing. And they're accessing my uh, support index file. Now, this tells me, if I jump back to my statistics and just scroll down a little bit further here, it will give me an idea of where all the traffic is going. And I can see here that support index file that I've got here is the big offender. It's getting absolutely hammered here compared to all of my other files that I happen to have on the server. So this particular file here is the one that these hackers are targeting and they're stealing all my bandwidth um, for no good reason. So what do I want to do about it? Well. Using cPanel, I'll jump back over here to my cPanel screen, and I'll just go back to the home. I can see in here, down in the security section, I have an IP deny manager. So if I know somebody's IP address that's causing problems, I can simply put it in here and it will knock them out of the park. They won't be able to access the website. Great, job solved, you might say. But unfortunately, that's not the case because once you block someone's individual IP address, a lot of the times with these hackers and people who are doing unsavory things to your website, they'll just go and use a different IP address because they'll be spoofing their IP addresses and constantly changing them. So how do you get around that? Well, it's pretty easy. You can put in ranges, but the ultimate is to block a country. Now, for those people that want to... Um, obviously not block a country, you'll have to block individual or small ranges of IP addresses. And I've done that before. And you simply use the control panel 
uh, add in your range of IP addresses. It gives instructions here and a lot of your hosting providers will provide video tutorials, I know I do, in how to do this sort of thing. However, you want to block a country. In my uh, little example, I want to block Argentina and the USA and I found that out by looking at my statistics. So I'm going to pick those two using this beautiful little tool that I've found called blockacountry.com and all this simply does is it gives you and I've just selected those those two countries I want to block it goes away and it calculates and it works out what the ranges are for the country because obviously a country as big as the US and Argentina and several other countries like Australia and the UK they, everyone has many many ranges of IP addresses of people using uh, their computers. So this is a very simple tool. It'll go away, it'll collect all of them for all the ranges for those countries. I can then pick them up and copy them into what's called a .ht access file for, for users that are on a Linux box and if you're on a Windows box you can also do something similar. So here we go. It's come in and it's output a whole bunch of um, content here. And so all I simply have to do here is grab it all, copy it. Now I need to access my HT access file. So I've gone into and logged in using um, FTP and I happen to use FileZilla. Great little program. And I've gone to my root directory of my uh, web hosting. I edit the HT access file, the .ht access file. And at the moment it looks pretty vanilla. There's not much in there. It's just a text editor. So now I'm going to paste in just with a um, control V or a right click and paste. Paste in all the stuff that I got from blockercountry.com and it just goes straight into the .hd access file and you can see here all the ranges. Look at them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ranges. Now that's blocking a whole country. It's quite severe to do that, but I can in this instance because I'm only interested in Australian traffic. So I'm going to re-upload that back to the server and up it goes. It's quite a big file. So um, the server will now block all traffic from those countries and it's that simple. Job done. Hackers are no more. That's it for this month. Bye for now.